Have you ever found a biblical passage and wanted to survey the interpretations thereof among the church fathers, but you just didn't know where to start? Or perhaps you could find some lists of patristic quotes of the passage, but worried that they were selective or incomplete. Or did you just find the whole search straight up laborious? First, if the last option is true of you, be a man and get used to the hard work of historical study. But otherwise, you can say goodbye to the struggle because Bibliindex has your back. If you already know what Bibliindex is and you want to just jump straight to the guide, you can skip to the next chapter at this timestamp. But if you don't know what it is, listen on. Bibliindex is an online tool that contains a comprehensive database of citations from patristic texts where particular biblical passages are quoted or alluded to. And as such, it allows you to comprehensively search the church fathers for their usage of any biblical passage you input from an entire book or even just a single verse and everything in between. You can likewise search through as much or as little of the patristic corpus as you like from all the church fathers and their works in the database to just a single church father or even only one of his works. Finally, and most exciting to me, Bibliindex is truly comprehensive in its collection of patristic sources, including many works not contained in the standard Philip Schaeff collection that most people use today, such as Origen's commentary on Romans. Nothing else needs to be said about this tool, and I don't think I need to explain how unbelievably useful it is, so let's jump straight to the guide. This is the Bibliindex search form. Now, you may notice right off the bat that a lot of the text is in French, and in light of such, bonjour mes frères, je m'appelle Paul. I'm just kidding, we speak human on this channel. But in any case, it is not going to be that difficult. Don't fret, there is a plenty of English and it's very easy to understand. Now, I did a search before this, so I'm just going to reset the form so I can show you how to do it yourself. First, you want to pick what biblical passage or passages you want to look up. Again, you can look up anything as much as really an entire book of the Bible to just one chapter or just one verse or a range within a biblical book. Um, for this case, we're going to keep it simple. We are going to pick a small range of verses from Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 and you can just leave it at this and uh, put in the search parameter and just look up biblical uh, patristic citations for that one verse. But if you notice here, there is the two. So you can pick a range. In this case, we're going to make the range to chapter three, same chapter to 28. So a range of three verses, 26, 27, 28. Now, the mistake I've seen some people make whom I've shown Bibliodex is that they forget to actually hit the plus icon. Hit that icon in order to actually put in your parameter. Now, you may notice you still have the option here to pick biblical books, chapters, and verses. This is because it allows you to actually put in multiple search parameters uh, for the final search function, which is very useful if you have multiple passages to be citing. But again, we'll keep it simple. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 to chapter 3, verse 28. Now, into the next section where you can pick out your church father's search parameter. Now, you can keep it simple and just keep it as all, or you can scroll through their massive list of church fathers and pick a specific one and even a specific work within them. And within them, sorry. Um, and if you notice, it also even distinguishes uh, between the church father himself, so Ambrosius Mediolanensis, versus his, I believe the question mark, I haven't checked, but I believe the question mark simply means uh, spurious or disputed works. And then the PS here means pseudo, which means definitely not from him. But it includes these works nonetheless in uh, the search parameters. Um, so plenty of options there. You can pick one particular father. Um, so let's say, let's, let's say, for example, we want to pick Dionysius of Rome. And then we pick a particular work of his. Well, he only has one letter over here. Um, for a better example, let's pick... Um, Methodius. So we've got Methodius here and there's a number of works here. So either you can search for this uh, biblical passage that you want in all the works of a, of a particular author, or you can simply pick one of his works and for the biblical reference in there. Again, immensely useful, but we're going to keep it simple and simply search across all the church fathers. So like with the biblical passage, you hit the plus icon. Now the parameter is in. So we have our biblical passage set. We have our patristic search scope set. Now we just simply hit search. And now it will be generating the list for those church fathers uh, and then provide it to us. Now, 
here's what the result uh, that comes up. Notice it divides the search according to each verse. Um, and so you may have the same uh, work referenced multiple times in these lists because the same work in the same section uh, cites multiple verses in a biblical book. Immensely useful nonetheless. So what happens is, again, each section is divided by each verse that is in the search parameter, whether it's one or multiple. Below that, it has, I believe, 99% sure, the date range of the work. So in this case, it is AD 190 to 460. Um, and of course, with church fathers, sometimes, uh, not all the time, but sometimes dates can be a bit speculative. So don't always take this as gospel. In any event, after this, it also then divides it by region and sometimes by type and sect. So here I'll have a selection for African authors, Alexandrian authors, Antiochian authors, uh, Gaul or France, uh, Greece, and then Greek historians as well. Um, and then even Gnostics as well. They even have a section for Gnostics or even Greek speaking West, so on and so forth. Now, all you need to do after that is to have that section open up and then you can go to the particular church father. So in this case, we have Tertullian right here and it lists his works. Now, as is the case with the names of the authors, as you may have realized, um, their works will be in Latin as well. And so hopefully they're similar enough that you'll just be able to tell. Uh, I Even I have been able, was able to before I really went extensive into my Latin study. Otherwise, worst case scenario, you can just copy paste the name, put it into Google and you'll be sweet. You'll be able to find it. In this case, you, we have Adversus Marcionem, which is against Marcion. Um, now, after this, these two green blocks will list a particular section. And the meanings of the numbers of the section numbers will differ depending on the context of the work because different works are divided up differently. Um, if it's just a sh if it's just a letter, for example, with only one set of chapter divisions, it'll just have one number devoting the chapter. Or if it's a bigger work of multiple books, it'll have uh, most likely the book and then the chapter. So in this case, we have Against Marcion, Book 5, Chapter 3. So you can look up the work, however you get access to it, go to that section, and you'll be able to find your biblical reference. As I said, immensely useful. Um, we'll get some getting used to if you uh, don't know Latin or have much acquaintance to it, but it won't be a big hurdle at all. And it's still immensely easier and much more time saving than manually combing through all the church fathers to find where they cite this or that biblical passage, not to mention the risk of the incompleteness of various other quote minds online or in book form. So this is how to use Biblindex. That concludes my tutorial for how to use Biblindex, the best patristics tool you've never heard of until today. Thank you very much for watching and a special thanks to my absolutely legendary supporters on Locals. If you want to help me increase the quality and quantity of my content and get some nice benefits along the way, you can become a supporter at my Locals page through the link in the description below. There is a public post in the Locals group itself where you will be able to see the rewards for various support tiers. With that said, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a lovely day or evening. God bless.